Hey, how's it guys? Uh, welcome to College Netted Engineering with Bongani Kumede. So today we'll be doing an electrical test uh, inspection for a three-phase induction motor. And uh, when you are seated there on your ARPL or during the treat, uh, doing your treat, you'll only be given this top. Everything else here, this information will not be given. You will be required to fill this one. You will be given a motor and they will write type of test, description, uh, instrument used and scale, reading obtained, regulation, is this result acceptable, yes or no? These ones they will not write, you will have to figure it on your own. So the first test that we're going to do is continuing continuity test of windings. Then you must write it here on your paper. When they give you this one, they will not write it, you will write it. You will write the type of test that you will do. They will not tell you that the type of test that you must first do is the continuity test of windings. You must write it. And then, on the description, you are actually writing what you are going to test from which point and which point. So we are going to test uh, between U1 and U2, then V1 and V2, W1 and W2. And then here on the instrument used in scale, you are going to write exactly the instrument that you used. And here we use a multimeter. So if your multimeter is a T123H RFF, you are going to write that. But you must say in ohm scale. So that here when you come to the rating of 10, you say ohms, ohms, ohms. And remember, between U1 and U2, must give you that. Between V1 and V2, let's say it, it gave you that. Let's say it's not that always it must be not. I'm just saying that if you, you, you put your, your list there of the multimeter. You get this value in this value. And then, on the regulation, you are going to write this. The calculated resistance must not exceed 10%. And then you are going to use this formula, which is RH minus RL divided by RH multiplied by 100%. So, when you put these values here on this formula, if they give you 12%, then you'll say the result is not acceptable, meaning that the, uh, it's, uh, the motor has failed in this section. But if here you re it says 2% after taking these values and putting them here, it means that it's acceptable. So yeah, this is the first test, and then we're going to go to the second test. And always make sure, remember to write the multimeter used and you write with scale, in ohms scale. And then the second test that we're going to do is called the insulation. Insulation, resistance, test of no, no, no. Isolation resistance test between, not of, between. Between windings. So, um, what I love it, on the description, we are going to uh, write the actual points that we are going to measure. Oh, yeah, yeah. So usually I, I, I use this, I say U, VW, we all know the car VW. I say VW, then I know it's gonna be U after. Then I take this and this, then this one and that one, then obviously we'll be left with this one. So what I'm going to do is going to be a V1, V1, V1 and W1, so V1, W1, and then it's gonna be V1 and U, V1 and U, and then obviously what's left is U and W, so it's gonna be W1 and U1. So that will be it. That's something that I just memorized. And then on the scale that you use, still gonna write, but here, yeah, remember here, we are, will you, uh, on, the, on the instrument, used and scale, we are going to write what you have used 
and let's say you have used the T one, two, three, four, uh, Z I C T V. Yeah, that's what you are going to write. And then you must say in thousand volts per mega ohm. Yeah, so this is actually a, a mega test. So if the mega tester is this one, a, a, everything for insulation, we use a mega test. So if it's like that, you are going to write it here. And then on the reading obtains, let's say you got infinity. And here you also got infinity. And here you also got infinity. When you measure here, you got infinity. Here you got infinity. Here you got infinity. So your infinity will be represented by these zeros. If there's these zeros, it means that it's your infinity. And then, uh, on the regulation, you must also write, and uh, you, you must write your regulation and you'll say, the insulation, insulation resistance test between Windings must not be less than one mega ohm. So the result is acceptable because of everything is infinity is more than one mega ohm. But if here was one kilo ohm, then it's unacceptable. So yeah, that's it for this type of test. And then we are going to write the last test. And the last test will be insulation resistance test between windings and your F. So the description will be U1 and F, V1 and F, W1 and F. And then on the instrument use, and scale, you must say, maybe if yours, it was a T123, uh, Z-I-C-T, you must say, in thousand volts per mega ohm. Always remember, in thousand volts. Once you don't write that thousand volts, you are going to get it wrong. So let's say the reading of 10 here was also uh, infinity. Remember infinity by the dots. And then it means that when you come here, yeah, you, now you are going to write your regulation first. And your regulation, your regulation will say insulation, resistance, test between windings and F must not be less than one mega ohm. And then the result is acceptable because of everything is more than one mega ohm. So yeah, and uh, that will be it for the last test. And then you'll be required to write your overall conclusion and we'll see motor has passed. Motor has passed. Electrical inspection or test. So yeah, that's it for your induction three phase motor. Just need to know that uh, they don't give you the rest of the values. They just give you a table and you have to fill it in. No one will fill that for you. And uh, you have 30 minutes for your motor test.
uh, both electrical and mechanical you have determinants so you must be done with your electrical and mechanical you must be able to write very 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 quickly so yeah that's it uh, let's meet on the next video where we'll be having the actual motor and we'll be measuring sharp sharp